Howdy folks, Bob Warfield here with another installment of our G-Wizard University. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about how to manipulate your backplot area in G-Wizard Editor. Um, you know, backplot provides you with a graphical display of the toolpath and it's really easy to manipulate and it's really important for you to know how to do that so you can uh, get it to look at just whatever it is you want to look at. Alright, so without further ado you have a couple of different tools that you can use to do this. Uh, first of all, you have different views you can select. This is the perspective view. Uh, you can get a top view, a front view, and a right view. Uh, the views are a little bit different for a lathe, but uh, uh, there are different views. You can zoom in and out with your uh, mouse uh, zoom wheel, uh, or you can click the uh, icon to zoom in. Okay. Uh, if you hit this icon here with the A, that's called Zoom Extents, and that just tries to make the uh, drawing whatever size it needs to be so the whole thing fits within uh, the view that's available. Okay, a couple of other things you'll want to be able to do. Uh, this button right here is uh, redraws the back plot. It'll go completely back through, reparse, and re-execute the program. So this is kind of a start from scratch and, and give me another look at this back plot uh, kind of an operation. So you can always do that if you want to. Uh, and then the last two things you'll want to be able to do are to uh, rotate and pan. And so rotating and panning, uh, so like here's, here is an example of rotation. I'm moving the mouse up and down while I'm holding the right mouse button. Uh, I can also just click the uh, uh, the rotation and hold down the left mouse button and it does exactly the same thing as if I hold down the right mouse button. Uh, if you're ever, and now it's now it's back to normal so it won't do it anymore. Um, uh, and you'll notice as I click around what it's doing is finding the area of the g-code that corresponds to that location uh, in the tool plot. Uh, so you can you can use these uh, icons here uh, if you forget what the shortcut is, just hover the the mouse over the icon and you can see it says you can use your right mouse button uh, for rotate. And then panning, uh, signified by the hand, uh, moves without rotation. Right? And so it's pretty handy to have too. Uh, or, or you can, and here we'll go over here and just take a look, hold down either control or shift together with the right mouse button. So let's try that and you get panning. All right. Now I've gone through the kind of the major uh, uh, CAD programs out there and uh, pretty much all of them support either the style of you know click an icon to get into the mode or uh, they'll work with the right mouse button or with either shift or click. Uh, you know typically it's one or the other uh, so I've got both of them here so it'll be more familiar for you. Okay, and that's really all there is to manipulating these uh, these different views. Now, uh, you do have a few more options that I'll walk you through. You can go to the back plot menu uh, and bring up the options, right? So, really, what this is about is turning various things on and off. I mean, if you don't like seeing all the grid lines, for example, let's just turn off the major in the minor grid lines and, and save that. Okay, see they're gone, uh, so you don't have to look at them. Uh, I, I like to have them available to help me get calibrated on where things are, so I leave them on. Uh, the show tool will show a little simulated uh, uh, tool holder uh, on the drawing to show you where the current line of G-code is. Um, and you see, th you see it kind of moving around there. Um, what else do we have? You know, we could show the endpoints of the objects. Uh, you can turn off whether rapids are shown. Uh, here, rapids are in red, uh, whereas your feed moves are by default in green uh, on the back plot. Um, you can change the line thickness here to, to thicken them up a little bit. Uh, you know, you can show extents boxes. Uh, by default, we don't show any of the reference position moves, G27, G30, those kinds of things. Or we can reset all of your tool colors. Now let's quickly look over, I don't know how many tools we have to find here, but 
uh, each uh, tool, uh, you have the ability to pick a color for it if you want to. Um, so don't hesitate to use that if you're trying to make uh, some tool more obvious. You also have the ability uh, to turn these tools on and off just by clicking the light bulb. See, I turned that one off. That's actually most of what was going on. All that's left are the four drill cycles in the corners. But uh, you have quite a lot of control over the back plot. All right, so those are various tools. Thanks very much, and uh, look forward to doing the next GWizard University video for you.